Hello everyone, welcome to L Please Dear Mariko. So I found this game while wandering around the internet for some short RPG maker games and I thought, eh, why not, could be interesting, I have no idea what it's about. All I can tell is it's about a girl, and she gets a letter from a guy, and here we are. As I said, I'm pretty sure it's very short, probably not a lot of story, but eh, I'll try it and maybe you guys will like it. So let's get started. It was one Christmas two years ago when I met Darian. I s it was then I suddenly realised that it was very, very loud. There we go, that helps. Anyway, it was one Christmas two years ago when I met Darian. I bumped into him in the snow. He was so polite. A sweet boy, kind and gentle. Everybody loved him. But I love him the most, and he loves me too. Oh, that's sweet. We snuck glances at each other across the park, and it was so exciting to realise that our feelings were mutual. Mariko. The way he said my name was so deep, so soothing, so warm. But recently, he's been distancing himself from me. Has he got another girl in his life? <sighs> what bastard. What's wrong, Darian? Somehow he averts his eyes. He still cares, but something is bothering him now. Looking at that haunted expression on his face hurts me so much. I still love you, Mariko, he will say, but his voice is always full of pain. If only there is some way I can cure that pain. Some way I can help him. Well, um, have you tried making a home-cooked meal? Guys always like that kind of thing. I'm such a bad girlfriend for not being able to tell what's wrong. Well, not really. I mean, if we told you what was wrong, that might help matters. <laughs> Just saying. I must find out. I have to find out. Alright, so I guess we're going to go visit Darian and see what's wrong. Darian? Wow. How old are you? Like, 12? At that? Jesus. Okay, so here we are in our house. Oh, it's a Bible. An antique book called the Holy Scripture. It belongs to Darian. Ah, Darian, you really like your Holy Scriptures and your Bibles. A stack of kitchen utensils. There are plates, cutlery, crockery, and a few kitchen knives. Hmm, I'm glad you pointed that out to me, Mariko. That's a window, with nothing to say. A shelf full of a uh, books. Not any kind of books, a uh, books. My favourite kind of books. Darian really loves reading. Read a book? Sure. Mecca. Apoptosis. Is that all we have to say? Any other books? Solace in the snow fog. Okay, that one makes slightly more sense. Oh look, it's a couch. So pretty. A vase full of flowers. I really don't like these flowers. Neither does Darian. Did we put them there because his mother wanted them? God, his mother. She's such a bitch. Why do we invite her over? I mean, I don't care if she carried him for nine months. She's a bitch. The door is locked. Hmm? Strange. How can I not have the key with me? I don't know. Why don't you have the key with you? I'm sure the spare's somewhere around here. Why is the bedroom locked and why would we have a spare key? A potted plant. Darian bought this plant at Mayfair. It was on sale at the time. Hmm, okay. I bet you the, pl I bet you the key's in here. Neither of us really like plants, though. Then why the fuck did he buy it? <laughs> Darian's a freaking weirdo! Yeah, I'll search the plant. Ah, here's the spare bedroom key. Again, why is there a bedroom key in the first place? I don't know why I'm saving. I just felt like it. Okay, here's a question. We're both a, love a loving couple, but why do we have separate beds? I mean, you know, I understand. You gotta have your own room, but... Don't we share a bed? Darian's bed. It's still warm. I wonder when Darian's coming home today. Is my bed? Mariko's bed. Not my bed? 
Am I playing as Mariko? It seems like a question I should have asked sooner. Hmm, it kind of smells bad. I think we're starting to make a lot of sense all of a sudden. If this is where it's go where I think it's going. Can't interact with the closet. What am I hiding behind? Okay. A large cupboard. It's empty and smells a little bad. But why doesn't no one fucking clean? The door to the bathroom. Okay, I think I might have accidentally guessed what the twist is. Because I found this game while looking up uh, something else to do after Yanderella. That will give you any indication. Regardless, I don't need to use the bathroom right now. I'm glad you do. Possibly not Mariko. There's a letter lying on the floor. To Mariko was written on the envelope. That's Darian's handwriting. But why would he leave a letter? Again, not why would he write me a letter? Sure, let's read the letter. <clears throat> Dear Mariko, I can't take this anymore. You smell really, really bad. No. Mariko, you know that I love you so much, and I always will. This I swear in the heavens. You are the love of my life, and I never want to make you cry. But I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry, Mariko. I'm a useless boyfriend, but even then, I want to keep you safe, even if it costs me my life. That's why I'm leaving you. I can't tell you this in person because I'm really that horrible a boyfriend, but you knew this when we got into this relationship, Mariko. I mean, we don't even share the same bed. You may have wondered these days, why do I always look so haunted, so afraid? I want to know who the hell writes like this, but okay. <laughs> it's because of that woman. She's been following me around for a while now. It's only a matter of time before she finds her way into our house. Okay, I'll stop it, I'll stop it. I know she's after me. I'm afraid if I continue staying with you, she will hurt you too. You must understand, Mariko. That woman isn't normal. She's insane. She's a monster. And I'm so scared that she'll kill you. I can't let that happen. I'd sooner die than to see you hurt, Mariko. I'm sorry I can't tell this to you face to face. Because I am a coward. But I know how upset you'll be, and I know you will be home soon. My heart will be crushed to see you cry. And you think not telling her in person is a okay thing to do? But please, don't worry. I promise, Mariko. After all this passes, I will come back to you. I promise. I can't promise I'll stick around, buddy. I mean, if you're gonna just leave me without even telling me to my face, then I'm moving the fuck on, mate. I love you, Mariko. I love you so much. I will love you until the day I die. Which is probably tomorrow. Thank you so much for being with me. Love, Darian. I can't believe it. So that's why? So that's how you really feel? Darian, you dummy. I can't believe he's leaving me. <laughs> it's so horrible. What am I going to do? I'm going to save my game, I suppose, but... You know what? If he's leaving me, then I will leave too. Hmm. Should I go? Yeah. If he can't... If he doesn't have the balls to tell you to your face, he doesn't deserve your time, lady. Oh, look, it's all broken. As if I'm heartbroken. I knew it. It was about time that I gave up on Darian. From the moment I met him, I knew it couldn't last. I knew we couldn't be together. Because of that woman. Because of her. And in the end, there was nothing I could do. After all. One of those seemed a little excessive. Like... 
in the end or there was nothing I could do in the end but after all it seemed a bit much. Anyway, I'll, I'll stop critiquing English. Goodbye, Darian. It's about time that I moved on. So I guess we left Darian. But the question is, which I want to know, I don't think I'm Mariko. <laughs> I'm pretty sure of this. Do you know what? We are not going to take this. We are going to fucking wait for him to come home and tell him to explain what the hell is going on. How long do I have to wait? He didn't even take his books with him. His beloved books! <laughs> Cash versus Yandere. Hmm. <laughs> Yandere, you say? Can I turn the lights on? It's a wee bit dark. Uh oh. door. Someone's trying to come in. But but that doesn't sound like Darian. Could it be that woman? I need to hide. Alright, we gotta hide. Hide in the cupboard! <laughs> yes! Hide! I'll be fine. Please, please don't look in here. I know it's an obvious hiding place, but please, but please don't look in here. She looked. I'm dead. Am I? There she is. Whoa. Okay. You came armed for business. <laughs> Maybe she is the stalker and I actually am Mariko and I'm just reading into it too much. Where are you, Darian, darling? <laughs> My god, she moves quite slow. She does look super creepy, though. Hmm. <laughs> no, don't come in. <gasps> I forgot to hide Darian's letter. Well, that was dumb of you. Oh, she's gonna flip the second she sees it. Mm. There's the letter. She's really upset. Fuck. I'm I'm almost 100% certain that's Mariko. Like, we're supposed to be full tier. But I'm pretty sure that's Mariko. Like, if... If the letter was addressed to me, my character would have cried. If she was that serious about Darian. She's crying. Am I the only one thinking this? Although, why did she come armed with a knife? I don't need to have voice like this actually. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. She's gonna kill whoever hey, who's ever making Darian leave her. Uh oh. Is someone in the closet? Oopsies. I'm in the closet. I finally got you. Ooh. Bad ending. Oh well. Hiding in the closet is generally not a good idea. Of course it waits until I move away from the knives. Alright. Somebody's coming home and it ain't Darian. Alright, guess we gotta... Yep, 
Gotta arm ourselves. Should I take something? <laughs> I can take a plate. Yes, a plate or a death. Alright, let's go hide in the closet again. It worked so well last time. I'm sorry, do you normally come over to Darian's house with a knife? I mean, it strikes me as odd behaviour if you are who I think you are. And if you're not who I think you are, it's still odd behaviour, but for a good reason. Well, if I've got a knife this time, so maybe I'll be okay. Sharp objects make everything better, right? <laughs> Especially in these kinds of games. Come in. Yep, someone's in the closet. And I'm armed. Wow, no hesitation. All right, little 12 year old girl. You, you have two knives? I won't let you keep doing this anymore. I won't let you hurt me anymore. How could you? It's because of you. Darian. I love you, Mariko. I will love you until the day I die. Darian. He cares so much. But it's all because of you. How could you? It's because you even exist. That woman is insane. She's a monster. I'm afraid that if I don't do this, she will hurt you too. So were you mildly upset the first time because he called you a monster? Is that the only reason? Because, let's face it, someone who hides in a closet with a pair of knives is kind of insane. Even if it was, my dear. It's all because of you that Darian left. How could you tear us apart? But it's okay. It's all over. I won't let you get between us anymore. I promise, Mariko. I promise I will come back to you. This is the end. You know what? I don't think Darian will keep his promise. After all, there's no way he can do it anymore. So... Leafle smile. Good night, Mariko. And welcome home. And you keep stabbing. Uh, come. Save me, Darian. And that's the true ending. Mariko came home and got stabbed by the crazy stalker. But, I called it. It just seemed a bit too obvious. I mean, yeah, it's a very short game. They, it's like barely 10 minutes to play for the entire thing. It's longer if you do multiple endings, but... There's, hey, when you have that short time frame, there's not really a lot you can do with it, if that makes sense. Like, you have to go somewhere very quickly. So there isn't really a lot of room to build up. But it didn't seem right the first time. Especially, especially with the whole, Dari and I don't like flowers. Well, if you guys don't like flowers and you live together, then why the hell are they there? It's obviously because somebody who lives there does like flowers. And it ain't you. But that was an interesting short game, so... I don't know, I'm gonna turn it to you guys. Can you think of any short RPG Maker games that you would like me to play? If so, please let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't already so that I'll play more of these, hopefully. I'll see you all in the next episode of whatever I decide to do. Until then, take care of yourselves. Bye!